let's take a look at an Emerson Arcadia 2001. I just got this uh, a few months ago. Pretty happy to have it in my collection. I do remember when these came out back in the late, uh, early 80s. Came out after the ColecoVision. Uh, that's not as good as the ColecoVision, you know, in my own opinion. It has some pretty simple graphics and everything. But it's still a neat little machine to have. You know, I like pretty much anything uh, pre-crash. So any console made before 1983, I'm pretty much into because that's what I remember growing up. I love the artwork on this box. It is so awesome. I also like this little sticker here. Bonus, select Arcadia 2001 game cartridge of your choice. See dealer for details. So evidently they had a promotional thing going on. I guess when you buy a system, uh, you could send off for a free game cartridge. That's kind of cool. So let's take a better look at the box here. Let's look on the side. So on the side of the box, shows some of the games that you can get for it. Alien Invaders, pretty cool. Ooh, Space Attack, looks like Galaxian. That's pretty awesome. I've got a few games for this, not a whole lot. But I like how they put the games that are available around the outside of the box here. So you have a screenshot showing what games they made for it. Pretty cool. So here's the back of the box. Pretty much looks like the front, so it doesn't have the little decal. So let's open this little bad boy up. And we'll see what comes inside. There we go. Nice little styrofoam. So we got two warranty cards here. We got a little mini warranty card. And we got the full size warranty card. Emerson Radio Corporation, Secaucus, New Jersey. Cool. So, oh yeah, there we go. We've got a little baggie here. Looks like it's got some more stuff in it. We've got a nice little catalog here of other Emerson Arcadia 2001 games. Oh, that's cool. I love these old catalogs. Those are so neat. A little uh, mail-in card, uh, warranty protection evidently. Also got to hold, send off these little tiny joystick, screw-in joystick things. Even though it looks like an Intellivision controller, it's not. It looks a lot like one though, but you can screw these little joysticks right into there. That is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty awesome looking little unit there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. So let's take a closer look at the console. All right, so here's an up-close view of the console. We have our reset, select, option, start, power button, on-off LED, little cartridge port, pretty cool. And one of our controllers, pretty stout little controller. Like how it says, left hand controller on there. Feels just like an Intellivision controller. It's got a fire button on the side here, on both sides. Pretty cool. And we can screw this little joystick in to right here. And now we have a joystick. That is pretty cool. Now it comes with a 12 volt power supply. DVE AC adapter. I'll put 12 volts DC, 500 milliamps. Now looking at the back of the unit, we have our DC 12 volt in connector right there. Channel select switch, channel three, channel four. And then on either side, you see these little tiny uh, connectors. These are for optional controllers that Emerson was going to release to be plugged into this for other types of games. I'm wondering if maybe that was going to be like a potentiometer input or something. Hmm. I'll do some more research on that. Also in the box, it comes with a nice little instruction manual. It's black and white. It tells how to hook up the system. What comes with the system. Pretty nice manual. It's not too bad. How to hook it up to your TV. How to insert the overlays into your controller. Some troubleshooting information. 
how to put the controllers back in the unit. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty happy with how complete this system is. All right, now let's take a look at some cartridges for this thing. Well, here's a couple cartridges for the system. I love the box art in here. It's like hand-drawn comics. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Got the number on there. Some instructions on the back describing the game. It's a one-player game. Now, what's another neat thing about the Emerson Arcade is the cartridges came in two different sizes. We have the long cartridge. And then we have, like, the little short cartridge. Don't know why they're two different sizes, but it's kind of, kind of cool. Now, this cartridge came with some overlays. So, just like the Intellivision, you could put these overlays in your controller to do different functions. Pretty neat. Now, the cartridges themselves, when you take a look at them up close, I love the artwork on these things. They're so cool. Nice little rainbow font on the back. It gives a description of the game, just like it does on the cartridge box. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a neat system. Hard to come across, though. I've not really seen too many of these out in the wild. So now let's play some games on this bad boy. All right, the first game we're going to try is Space Vultures. All right, start this bad boy. Start. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Oh, kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Phoenix, a little bit. Oh, I like the multiple shots. Ooh, got canaled. Oh, wow, I can go over the screen. Oh, oh, you son of a blankety blank. I like the animation of flapping wings. That's pretty cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sound effects are kind of bad. Yeah! Let's try another game. Next, we're going to try Tanks a Lot. Well, you're welcome. Uh oh, reset. Uh oh, yeah, I got a dirty cartridge. Yeah, I got a dirty cartridge. Hang on a minute here. <sighs> dirty cartridge. There we go. All right. This one uses an overlay. All right, we get here. Freeze, unfree. Oh my gosh. Start. Oh, that was close. He had me. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. All right. 
right, next up, let's try, let's see, Breakaway. Yeah, we'll try Breakaway next. Let's see what that one is. Breakaway, Breakaway, Breakaway. Oh, Breakout. Awesome. Start. Holy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, there's no way to speed the ball up. Oh, the paddle up. Oh, there we go. Hit one of the buttons on the keypad and it speeds the paddle up. Ah! Oh. Now this kind of reminds me of Pinball Challenge on the Fairchild Channel F a little bit. The way it controls with the joystick. Doop. The controls work pretty nice. You know, not, not too bad. Well, that's pretty cool. So now let's try. Jungler. Jungler, jungler. Oh wow, it's a Konami game. That's pretty cool. Oh, come on. Got another dirty cartridge. Here we go. Start. Holy moly, what am I supposed to do? Well, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> oh no! What an interesting game. Oh! Ooh. Oh, I missed him. I'm terrible at this game. Oh! Ooh, that's a cool sound effect. All right, let's see. Let's try another game here. Let's try. What's this one? Oh, Alien Invaders. Oh, yeah. Alien Invaders. Oh, cartridge messed up. There we go. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, start. Oh, well, it looks like a building down there running around. Whoa. invaders but they don't march down towards the screen to the bottom interesting oh there we go something's happening now Now they're marching down. Whoa, whoa! We hit that UFO. Oh, got him! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Thank you. 
Oh! Oops. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so what's next? What we'll takes next? Oh, here we go. We're going to try escape next. Escape. Escape to the border. All right. Oh, cool. Kind of reminds me of a very slow berserk. Uh, I don't like how things are speeding up. Uh, something's going to happen. I escaped. Run, you fool. Run. Oh, that's supposed to hit the wall. <laughs> I'm just going to hit this. Let's see what this does. Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, I was worried about it for nothing. Kill everybody in this level. Die, you robot scum. Oh my gosh, this guy runs slow. Can you run any faster? Oh, and not hit the wall. That's kind of interesting. So let's try. What's next? Oh, Space Raiders. Oh, dirty cartridge. Got a dirty cartridge. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, I'm not for sure how to play this game. Let's see. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> that was cool! Kind of reminds me of like, oh! Kind of reminds me of Defender a little bit. There we go. Leave me alone! Oh! 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 <laughs> Oops. I like the explosions. That's kind of cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it there, buddy. Whoa. Miss me. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that was close. Got him. <laughs> oh. Oops, I got a little cocky. That's cool, man. That's a neat that's a neat game. Okay, next up we'll try Space Attack. Alright, let's see what this is. Oops. Oh, dirty cartridge. There we go. Ooh, looks like Galaxian. Hey, where's my ship? Yo, oh, there it is. Oh man, I used the other controller for this? Really? Try it again.
Yep, it's Galaxian. Oh, man. Galaxian with the fuel gauge. Kind of interesting. Get up! Oh, come on, I hit him. Ooh, he's going in slow motion. Cool. All right, now the last game I've got here is Cat Tracks, which is a maze game. I love this game. I've played this simulation before. Before It's actually quite a bit of fun. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, start. Cat being chased by mice. Whoop, whoop. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, shoot. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, run. Ha <laughs> ha. I got away. I warped to another part of the maze. I like the power-ups, it allows you to warp to different parts of the maze. It's kind of cool. Go, little cat, go! Watch out for them rabid mice, whoa! Tell you what, though, that background sound... That would get kind of old pretty quick. With the power up. Uh, now I'm a truck. I can run over the mice. Splat. Oh, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Hit the other mouse! Boom! Love this game! Awesome! What a cool game! So that's the Emerson Arcadia 2001. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching!